Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. So everybody's favorite, six baby mama, honey. She's back on the damn blog. So if you guys do not know, Instagram model, and I use that word lightly, she's back kicking up dust against Future. So this time what happened is that according to reports, Eliza, she went down to the courthouse in Florida, and she's basically asking the family court um, to make Future the legally named father of her child and order Future to pay child support. She's also saying that she wants retroactive payments, and she wants the hospital expenses covered as well. So, of course, once this hit, that future was slapped with the new paternity test because they want to confirm that he is a father. She wants him legally placed on the birth certificate. She wants him legally responsible. Of course, she was trending again. Folks were dragging her because, again, you went into the situation knowing that you were the sixth baby mother. You knew he wasn't doing shit for the other ones like that. And you still willingly chose to get pregnant. So, of course, people were roasting her and clowning her. So she decided to write this long ass dissertation, honey, on the gram. I mean, literally nobody, nobody at all. Then here she comes spilling all her tea, telling her life story telling her so-called hardships, honey, I had to pull out the tiny violin, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, while reading all this bullshit. I'm going to go ahead and read it to you guys so you guys don't have to read it. Go ahead and check this out. So Eliza Rain says, bottom line, he came back around, we got cool, hashed out the past, he made promises, then disappeared again. I'm not running no nigga down to do what he's supposed to do. So I finally let the courts chase him instead. Regardless of how she got here, she's here. So stop making excuses and justifying a grown man abandoning an innocent child. Last but not least, since y'all are making him the victim, if only y'all saw these messages in my phone, you'd be surprised I didn't file three months ago. Then she goes on to say this. To be honest, I really think he did this and forced my hand to make me look bad like this is what I had planned the whole time. I tried so many times to make things right with him for the sake of little mama. I didn't want the courts involved. I have never been into that. I was raised on the courts for the police assholes. I was raised in and out of juvie. I don't want to see no courtroom either. But at this point, it is what it is. Then she goes on to say, as far as me allegedly trying to secure that bag, I lost over 100K having my little angel, lost wages, spent a great chunk of my savings, haven't been able to work since I was five months pregnant, closed down my physical location of one of my businesses because I didn't have reliable help to fill in my absence, sold one of my cars that I worked hard to pay cash for. I was even wearing press on nails at some point. Oh, the horror. Not press on nails, bitch not press on nails but i survived i took care of both me and my children i prayed i paid my bills and kept myself together mentally i don't want y'all to sympathize with me i'm good i made it through the hardest part and i just want y'all to know it really is if it was about the bag i could have secured that for having an abortion duh like the other girls did only bag secured was a Gucci diaper bag, okay? Had M before y'all. I had money before y'all's favorite rapper came along. I had the range, had business, had A1 credit, had all the watches, bags, shoes, etc. Also had peace of mind. And despite the losses I've been taking doing this on my own, I still maintained it all. So to answer all y'all's questions, no, I don't need him to take care of me. I need him to take care of his child. I hope all you people saying you knew what it was when you decided to keep the baby ain't the same ones protesting against abortion. Let me guess, it's different for me. 
I should have aborted because I got pregnant by someone whose songs you used to sing in 2016. So since my baby deserves mistreatment because I'm a clout chasing IG model, ask him why he did the same exact thing to Cindy at Cindy Renee, his newest baby mama, who doesn't dance, model, or use IG like that. He's clearly the problem, not the kids or the mothers. He goes around making promises and babies and then disrespects you and disappears! I can't with this fuckery. I mean, no personal responsibility whatsoever. Oh, woe is me. Oh. My thing is, when people show you their true colors, believe them. If he played his first baby's mother, he played the second, he played the third, he played the fuck out of Sierra who was the fourth. Okay, and he's not there for those children like that because he's busy touring and being a musician and, you know, slinging that damn peen everywhere. Why would you willingly come along and choose to be baby mama number six? And, you know, people, I was like, oh, you always place most of the blame on the women. You're harsh on the women. I'm going to be more harsh on the women because somebody needs to tell us women the fucking truth. That's why. At the end of the day, like the old saying goes, mama's baby, daddy's maybe, okay? So when you choose to lay down with somebody and you know from their past track record they're not shit and you choose to get pregnant by that person and you expect a different result, at that point, bitch, you're insane, okay? That is the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. We know Future's insane because he keeps doing the same shit. So why would you willingly put your body through the stress, through the torture, through all the mental shit she's been going through? She said she's been losing bags and everything else. Why put yourself through something like that when you didn't have to? I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. The problem is she didn't care. She saw that name Future, she saw the fame attached to him, she saw his money, and that's what it was. She thought she'd be different just like baby mama number five, four, three, two, okay? They all thought they'd be different and he treated them the same way. Josie Chavez thought she'd be different and he treated her the same way. This is how this dude gets down and if you're foolish enough to fall in that trap, I don't feel bad for you, I don't feel bad for the girl after you who I reported on about two weeks ago who just had his baby and supposedly there's a baby number number nine and 10 coming down the pipeline as well. Future don't care. He's trying to create a tribe of fatherless children, obviously, okay? He doesn't care. This is what he does. So for her to be sitting here, you know, trying to boohoo and look for sympathy, I don't have anything to give you because you're a grown woman. We're not talking about teenagers here. We're not talking about 15, 16 year olds who may not have access to birth control, who don't, you know, fully understand when they're having sex, what could happen. These people are all damn near 30, okay? They are all grown people. Everybody knows when you're out here sleeping around and raw dogging. And she's admitted to this in the past that she raw dog future. So when you're doing things like this, you know, how can you then be shocked when you get pregnant? And then how can you furthermore be shocked when he chooses not to step up and take care of his child? That's been his MO from day one. I'm not excusing him, but if somebody is a shitty person, I'm not going to put myself in a situation to get pregnant by that person and then boo-hoo to social media as if social media owes you something. Nobody owes you any type of sympathy or loyalty. You put yourself in that situation, figure this shit out. Get your child support, do what you got to do and have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. Out of all his baby's mothers, she's like the most annoying one. The rest, they see what it is and they just, they moved on with their life. You know, they're trying to collect their little child support. But you don't see Josie Chavez doing all this. You don't see all of them doing all this extra shit that this woman is constantly doing. And she's constantly trying to play victim. She got drug again later on that day. So basically somebody came to her comment section and they said, what's Future's number? I'm trying to have a baby too. So then she replied back to them and she says 1-800-DEADBEAT. So, of course, people were roasting in the shade room and saying, no, the number is 1-800-YOU'RE-A-DUMBASS. 1-800-YOU'RE-A-DUMB-BITCH. 1-800-YOU-PUT-YOURSELF-IN-THAT-SITUATION, DUMMY. So, folks were roasting her because it's like you're trying to clown him and call him a deadbeat as if you're baby mother number one. You knew what time it was. You were looking for fame. You were looking to be attached to something because, again, nobody really knew who this girl was. She could have secretly had her baby, did what she had to do behind the scenes. She tried to take shine away from Joe 
Josie. It was too much attention going to the fifth baby mama. And when she seen everybody praising Josie and, you know, giving Josie congratulations, that's when she ran up to let everybody know, I'm pregnant too, you know, looking for attention. But then it backfired on her because she just looked even more dumb. Like, okay, you're pregnant. So he had you and Josie pregnant at the same time. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So it's like all of these girls, they've gotten themselves in this sticky situation. I don't feel bad for them. This is no different than the women who got pregnant by Fetty Wap. The one chick went and had another baby with him after, you know, he he had a baby by Alexis Sky. She turned around and had a second child by Fetty Wap. And then what do they all do? They all sit on social media crying and complaining and, you know, bitching and whining about Fetty Wap not being there, not seeing their child on a regular basis. Again, it is hard for a man who has children by different women to be in six seven different places at one time it's just not possible that's why folks say the best scenario for a child is for the parents to be married and to be in one household that way the child has both energies of the parent the mother and the father but when the father has a kid here a kid here a kid here how can you expect him to be there physically it's not about a check it's about being there, going to those parent-teacher conferences, you know what I'm saying? Teaching that child about life, teaching that child about responsibility, you know, being there as a parent to guide that child. A lot of these women were not looking for that. They were looking for fame and in the bag. And then now that reality is hitting them, that they're doing this on their own, now they're upset. This is why I say to young girls, look at other people's situations and learn from them. And when you see bitter bitches online talking about it's no big deal, y'all are judging, y'all are being so mean, steer clear from bitches like that. Those are bitter bitches who have gotten themselves in the same exact situation as these Instagram girls, but they don't have the fame because their baby daddy is either the local, you know, dope boy, or he's just some dude in the hood who got a bunch of kids by different women, and they want you to fuck up your life. I'm going to give you the real. If you don't have children, if you don't have yourself in this situation, be very mindful who you have children with do not be trying to be baby mama number three number four don't do that especially if you don't have any children try to find somebody who does not have any children so that way it can be a special moment for the both of you like there's no reason that we have women out here who don't have any kids and they're willing to be baby mother number six and seven just because of the guy's title just because the guy's an athlete or a rapper you know what i'm saying so when you see grown women co-signing her behavior or excusing her behavior stay clear away from them bitches because they want you to fuck up your life the way they fucked up theirs okay all right you guys so we have some breaking news concerning future and his six babies mother eliza rain so this is what's being reported today okay so they're saying after a florida woman publicly claimed to have given birth to future's child the dirty sprite rapper quickly went to court to have her silenced future born navidius willborn is now asking a judge for a gag order against his rumored baby mama who is ig model eliza rain this shouldn't come as a surprise since she's been going off on him for the past few days using her platform to call him a deadbeat dad eliza is attempting to sue the atlanta native for child support for her four-month-old baby girl. After the news broke on her case, she went on a rant via social media stories explaining her side of the story, saying that she isn't looking for a money grab, but that she wants Future to step up and take care of his child. Future immediately hired a lawyer to handle the case. The Blast is reporting that Future also filed a petition for a gag order demanding that the judge stop Rain from speaking out on him or the paternity suit again. A judge has yet to rule on the motion. Eliza said in her rant that she lost nearly 100K since she became with child and was unable to work through half of her pregnancy. The influencer also said that Future ghosted her ever since she gave birth back in April and she felt she had no other option but to have the courts handle it. Future already has several children that we know of by several different women, including pop star Sierra, and his fifth child was born in December 2018 to Josie Chavez, who also has a child with Bow Wow. So this entire situation is crazy. It's funny that Future can run to court to petition the courts for a gag order, but the man can't seem to just, you know, wear a condom or be selective or take somebody's hand in marriage and, you know, have children by one person, you know, from this day forth, okay? So I just find that really comical that he doesn't return her phone calls, he doesn't acknowledge her the baby, but that he can run to damn court.
So this whole situation is crazy as hell. But again, this is why as adults, you need to be very selective with who you have children with, especially if you're coming into a situation where a man has several children by several different women. Just know that you're going to get the scraps, okay? And so that's why you need to be mindful. At the end of the day, does she deserve child support? Absolutely. Okay, it takes two to make a baby. She Everything's on her currently. She's taking care of the child by herself. Future does need to step up financially and help out. But again, this whole situation is insane because I still believe that she put herself in this situation, trying to look for fame, trying to get a bag, you know. But at the end of the day, the child is here and the child deserves some type of support. And, you know, even more than the monetary support, the child deserves to have a father in her life, period. Even if you don't like the baby's mother, even if y'all don't get along, that should not stop you from being a part of that child's life and watching that child grow up and, you know, being in that child's presence. So it's really sad that we have so many children being born due to their mother just chasing a bag and then the kids suffer. That's the same situation I talked about in the Brian McKnight video where he really has no attachment to his daughter because he feels like the baby's mother just got pregnant for a check. So unfortunately for the daughter, she's bearing the brunt of that underlying, you know, friction and drama between her parents. And that's what's happening to a lot of these kids. The same thing's going on with the whole Carmelo Anthony, Lala situation with the girl that Carmelo, you know, um, slept with and knocked up. He doesn't see that child. Now he's paying child support, but he doesn't want to have anything to do with the child. So it's really sad. So that's why I say, again, ladies, be very, very mindful because you don't want to be in this situation. Granted, you might be getting some money, but that money does not equate a father being there with that child, showing that child love and respect and, and raising that child properly. So this entire situation is sad, hopefully it gets figured out. But again, I just find it really funny that he could run to court to go do that, but he can't pick up the phone and make sure the baby's okay and try to form some type of, you know, bond with that child. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Future and his sixth baby mama, Eliza Rain. And like I said, there are several more baby's mothers coming down the pipeline. Stay tuned. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you've not subscribed to this channel. I also hit the bell so you can be a part of the notification squad. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.